Between Radar Riley, I'm back in the series Around with Radar at the iconic Moor Park Golf Club, just outside London in Hertfordshire. The first two rounds with Radar, I played with Andy Sullivan first up and then I played with Tyrrell Hatton and they both got the best of me, big time. Will it happen today? Probably. Who's the man? Three-time winner on the European Tour this year, Matt Wallace. Hello, mate. Matt, why have these? Why have you golfers all got really nice cars? Uh, luckily, I got given this one, so it's quite <laughs> nice to be driving around. Your home course here at Moor Park. Mm. Ready to go? Ready to go, mate. Okay, Matt. Here we are on the high course at your home club of Moor Park. It's a little par three, 143 yards. Now. I've played these rounds with Radar and I've played two of them and I've lost everything I've got so all we're going to do is play today for a, um, a diet something because that's how I manage to stay so thin. So are you happy with that? Is yeah, that it? You go. Oh, yeah, you, you just, I'll show you that, the, that's how we're doing it. I'll show we're you We're going the, to the way. get going. 144 Radar. Three tournaments this year he has won all over the place, all over the world. Frequent fly miles are absolutely humming in. <laughs> As um, is the cash. This is the this is the real quiz to take you down. You got nine? Little nine on. A oh, beautiful strike, mate. That is all over it like a tropical disease. Oh, Ooh, it's, it's long. long. It's long. Oh no. <laughs> I didn't think I could get it that far straight <laughs> out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, won't be going far. All you got autumnal, to do is autumnal the, morning. Hit the front edge. Lovely strike. Pull the little fly. Oh, I'll be all right. Ooh, we'll take right. that. Nice start. <laughs> Decent start for a couple of, uh, <laughs> well, a chopper and a, a good player. <laughs> okay, mate, you've just trickled over the back. I reckon I landed around here and she's gone down there. You're in a little dell. Well, How's the chipping? Chipping's good. Chipping's yeah. been really good this year. Um, How much? They tell me here you, you're putting in a. Uh, the bosses are putting the powers of B are putting in a really nice chipping area, so you can work really hard on the game. Exactly. Uh, it looks fantastic. We'll show you later, and it's something I think Moore Park has needed for a long time. Is a short game area, and not only is it massive for amateur golfers, where they don't realise that short game is probably the most important yeah. part of their game. It's important for us as well, and. I'm not sure if we'll get these shots. I think down the kids. There. I think the kids need to know that. Yeah. I mean, when we were all young, uh, us pros, we, we we sort of hit it for seventy, uh, hit drivers seventy percent of the time and chip and putt thirty percent of the time. But it yeah. totally changes. This is the stuff. Like I'm over the back here, early doors. If this is in the start of your round, if you make par here, you carry on. I've hit a nice shot there. I've just gone long. Yeah. I blame the caddy. Yeah. But if I can get this up and down, this is the momentum that goes, OK, this is like a birdie. Yes. So let's get this up and down now. That's right. And we... Uh, if you know you can get it up and down... And then I'm going to put you under pressure. Well, the, I'll be under pressure the whole day. Oh, good shot. Good oh. shot. Greens are nice and fast. Well, the greens are good. Oh, a bit of break in there's there. There's meat on the bone. Hey? There's meat on the bone. Hey? <laughs> <laughs> Even though it's straight uphill, I might have to hold this and uh, we'll see. All right. A bit of slope to this green. Yep. Matt. It's a feature of the high course, a lot of very undulating greens. Oh no, oh no. I'm going to ask you a question right now. I'm going to ask you a question. Well done. That no. I really looked at, We're going. I'm going straight into the Ryder Cup. I'm going straight into the, the maid in Denmark with Thomas Bjorn standing there on the 18th green, the three times that you, it was three times, wasn't mm. it, that you hold eight footers? Yeah, inside, probably inside 10 feet, yeah. Eight footers, three eight footers, and I said to myself, I went, 
That is Ryder Cup pressure. Mm -hmm. I don't care what anyone says. Mm -hmm. What pressure did you feel holding those putts? Was there a pressure? Was there a Ryder Cup pressure to get in yeah. and to win? Yeah, a yeah, tournament yeah. within a tournament. I said I said that in the in the interview on the Saturday was I need to win this to give myself any chance. So there was the pressure straight away where I put myself under. And then I knew the last three holes, I had to birdie every single one to get to 19 under. That's where the leaders were, um, if they weren't going to make any more birdies. And then I had a, what, about a 12 footer on 18. And I was like, okay, I have to hold this. Mm. Rolled her in. Mm. And I was like, okay, that's one. Yeah. Get into the playoff. Yeah. And I have to hold that one because Steve Brown is close. Yes. And do it. And you're like, oh, okay. Now we've got a really good chance now. Yeah. Down to two. Yeah. And then put it close and have to hold that for the for the win is like you do it I, I put myself under pressure situations in practice so I get used to this sort yeah. of stuff and it's important to me that I'm, I'm able to to feel that pressure and know that it's an important yeah. part but I know that I can step up to the mark we're going to leave it at that because we're going to go into the Raider Cup, Raider Cup a little a little later we're going to get a nice little insight one down put the pressure on Oh, what a chunk. <laughs> Fly, baby. <laughs> Hi. It's all right, though, it is it? Be okay. Is it all yeah, right? It might be okay. It's all right. <laughs> just needs to get over that little ditch that I didn't tell you about. <laughs> <laughs> I actually played him many years ago in a championship called the Wang Four Stars. Ronnie Corbett and Michael Parkinson, Bruce Forsyth, all those great men. Good swing, buddy. That works. Good swing. Okay, your journey with Ping. When did you start playing with Ping? Uh, 2011, um, when I was in the England squad. Um, they came to me and said, do you want to fancy playing with Ping? And I was like, yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> some, some clubs would be lovely. And uh, they've been brilliant to me ever since. And it's like a family to me now. Yeah, oh, well, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. I, I, have you ever been to the factory over there in uh, Phoenix? I haven't yet. No. I did it this year at the Phoenix Open. I went over there on the Monday after the championship. And uh, it is unbelievable. They, uh, there is no stone unturned. Yeah, yeah. So you say family, it exactly yeah. what it is. What do you like about the equipment? What do you like about it? Is it the, the service you get? Everything can be 100% right. If you, if you break a five iron around a tree, yeah, yeah. it comes back exactly the same. What do you yeah, like? Yeah. It's, I think... Ultimately, the most important thing is the product. Yeah. Is the product good? Mm. Yes, yeah. it's fantastic. Ping bring out loads of different technology nowadays where it gets better and better. Yeah. The driver I've got now is the best thing that I've used, but I know that they're going to come with something else yes. next, and it's going to be better than that. Yeah. So every time Ping bring out a club for me, I'm able to use it and go, wow, that's, that's pure. So as a young kid, as an amateur, they gave you freak stuff? Yeah. <laughs> Good days. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. And they're still giving him free stuff. Love it. Free stuff, eh? Yeah. <laughs> How far we got, mate? Well, 150. Hi? 150 esque. Thing is, you've got the lot. The the lie is <laughs> is helping the big old slice. Yeah. <laughs> you just need to recreate the. How far is it? 144. Okay, now let me show you. This is this is a little <laughs> clinic. I'm going to open myself up this beautiful tree here. I'm just going to open. I'm going to whip it round from left to right. Is this like Seve in? This uh, is like on, yeah, the 18th hole there. Oh, go! Ah. Oh. You know what though? That's right a, idea. It was a right a very... idea. Just got a little thin autumnal morning. I can't feel my face, my fingers. I can't <laughs> feel anything. Because everything's vibrating. <laughs> Goodbye. I feel it now. <laughs> Matt, you're down here. You've got a blind shot uh, over a bunker. That's not going to come into the equation. On a little upslope. How do you play um, blind shots, distance control, and how good are the wedges that Ping provide? Two yeah, questions there. Yeah, well, the, the ping wedges first here are unbelievable. These new glide wedges are fantastic. Straight in the bag as soon as I saw them, not only aesthetically they look amazing, but the feel and the spin that you get with them are consistent and pure. So that's why they're straight in the bag. And secondly, blind shot. I can just see the top of the flag from here, but it comes down to picking your spot 
say in the trees or something like that. Yeah. And then it's distances. So yeah. I work hard with Trackman and my distances, knowing where my positions are with certain clubs. Yeah. So I think that's the hundred yard there. I think I've got about 85 here. So I know that my full with the lob wedge is 94. And so I normally call, I call it a 3.2. Some people ask, I did a grip down 3.2 in Denmark. A 3.2 for me is just a three quarter swing. It's just the words that we use in the Morad, the Mako Grady spectrum. So that's what we do. It's quite intense, isn't it? Little fade. If the distance is right, it's going to be eight feet left of it. Ah, oh, he's played a peach. Look at this. Been practicing. I have not, no. You have. I haven't played in two months. Oh man. Are you seeing that? Or is that a gimme? That's fine. Now I'm now I'm under hey, the gosh with this putt. I tell you the greens are nice and firm and fast. Uh, these are the best I've seen them, for sure. They're amazing. I thought that might Out, have, um, I'm obviously hitting it a bit a bit too hard. Out. That's fine, thank you. Um, I thought with the cold this morning I might it might be a little bit slower. No, but it's warming up lovely. That's going to be quick down there, mate. Oh, yes. Try and get the touch right. Really quick. Oh, he brings it back See, it to one. It started again. What level part. It started again. Wallace, Hatton, <laughs> Sullivan. <laughs> Come on. Well, I was there going go. right. For I'm a ready while to there. go again. <laughs> okay, Matt, the one you've just held, um, well, how long have you been using this putter? A week. A put, week? Yeah, I put it in last week. I had a great uh, putting lesson with my coach, Mike Kansky, um, and we talked about face balance putters mm. and rotation of putters. Yeah. The technology nowadays that we can use uh, to find out what's, what's going on in your stroke, I basically just had to have a more toe weighted mm. putter. To keep the to, to keep the face open slightly more impact. I'm going to ask you a question. I tell you something. I mean, I, I find that you've won uh, just not long ago. I was in the states and I watched you win the maiden Denmark, the, 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 the last yeah. one of you. And you won the BMW International big tournament yeah. in Germany. We would have kept putter <laughs> if we'd won yeah. for a year yeah. until it misbehaved. Yeah. You guys have got no problem in binning the one that you won with and going with something else. Be why? Because yeah. you believe. Uh, I think, yeah, just the mindset of if you can read the green right and you can hit it on your line, mm. it doesn't matter what stick you're using, really, as long as you can do that and you're confident with it. I was very confident with this last week. I had a softer face so I could hit it hard on the on the Lynx courses, Lynx screens as well, which helps. Yeah. That sort of stuff just yeah. gives you reinforcement that this is what ping can do for you. And it's great, especially to have there and then at your at your at your hands really and go right I'm gonna have a softer face this week so I can hit it harder. Yeah. It's at great. Your, at your fingertips. At fingertips, there you go. <laughs> hands. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm using the new I two tens. So you got them? I oh, know you got a <laughs> I've got what? <laughs> a spoon. <laughs> the spoon. The baffy. <laughs> <laughs> right then. All square. Love that. Always hit it heavy. There's certainly no hole in one here today. No hole in one here today. But at Bella Reeve, you made a beautiful hole in one. <laughs> yeah. What's this? What ping do to, for people who make a hole in one. Oh, wow. They give you a, uh, a, a, a memento of that hole in one. Yours was at the PJ Championship. That's and people at home, um, they can do the same thing with ping. You buy yourself some clubs and um, they will give you um, what Matt's just uh, won there. Look at that. How oh, cool. Wow. How cool That's is that? Cool. Yeah. That's my, that was my first one as a pro as well. So yeah. Not bad to do it in front of Jordan Speed and Tiger Woods. No, no. But that wasn't a whole lot. That wasn't a whole lot. That would have been nice there, if Matt. I could that do it here. Whole, that was a whole, it was early in the morning. <laughs> oh, yes. 
Well, I'm out on a little baffy. Him and there's another ping player is about as good as it gets with this shot. Yeah. Oh, you watched him with a forward? My God, my. Oh, I've pushed it. That's going to be fine. Go! Bounce in. Is that bunker? Mm, do you think it's just short? OK, I can try to stun it into that little bank there. Hood the club face, hands forward. Oh. Nicely played. Not bad. Nicely bad. played. Whoa, what'd you play that with, Matt? That was an eight iron. Lovely shot. Um, Lovely shot. Lovely stroke. Ooh, oh, just undercooked it. I tell you what, before I left Australia about two months ago, I was putting like a freak with one of these. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I was holding from everywhere. The world. All right. Lovely putt. Matt, you've obviously got that competitive spirit, even with a little game with the round with radar, you've got that competitive spirit. How did you get that? I mean, did you play other sports as a kid? Your family? Tell us all about that. Yeah, my family really, um, very sporty. Uh, Dad was a rugby player, mum played hockey and, and she was a triple jumper as well. So really? it's, it just runs in my family and my sister's very good at sport. And it was kind of like, not competing against each other, but that was the, the whole thing, was we wanted to be the best we could possibly be. Yeah. And then I played all sports during my, during my childhood and growing up and at school. I, like I said, I lost a few friends for wanting to win so badly and everyone was like, why do you want to win so much? And it was just the way I was made up, yeah. I think. And I've uh, started to calm that down a little bit and use it at the right times because, you know, when you mature, you, you do that. And yeah. um, I think just wanting to... Wanting to win is so, so important to me. You like winners, you, you love your rugby. Yeah. You like United, Manchester United. Why, yeah. why, where'd that come from? Nothing well, wrong with Manchester no, United. My old man's Unless from, you're a Mourinho. Yeah, my old man's from uh, from Manchester. So I tried to be a Chelsea fan when I was very young. I'm a Chelsea fan. Well, I, I'm not. We've all got our problems, as you're going exactly, to say. Yeah. So um, I, uh, I, 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 he wouldn't let me, basically. Because <laughs> so, he, he was a United fan and he was like, you know, he's supporting United. I was like, okay, fine. Great club, great club. So your rugby, would you rather, you know, football in Manchester United mm. or, or, or rugby? Or rugby. Um, rugby, probably. I was a rugby boy as well growing up, so... Did I used you play? To love that. Yeah, I did and I was probably... Quick? Were you fast? No. I was, Hard? Uh, yeah, I was, I was fly half, so kicker, tactician, um, team team player wanting to win and stuff like mm. that and uh, and then I got too fat and too small and everyone started getting big and strong so did you did you I, I played football as a kid soccer and, and um, in Australia yeah. the only thing I had I don't know about you when you played those sports and team sports did you like it more when you got golf and it was all your ball yeah it yeah. was your own I think the reason why I changed from uh, the age of maybe 13 14 to more golf was the fact that I could go out and play on my own yes. with my clubs and a ball. My dad could drop me off yeah. and I go and play the course and it's me versus the course and yeah. you set your own targets and stuff like that and you didn't need 10 other players or 21 other players to play a game. Yeah. Um, so that was really what attracted me to golf and uh, I mean you can't you can't perfect this game, can no, you? No, but when it's your own ball and you know, but the only it's problem is you know, it affects us all so badly. It start, starts to yeah. sit there and talk to us and <laughs> we start to talk to it and it's like... It's true. I talk to it way more now yeah. than I used Does to. Does it listen? Does it sometimes, listen? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> or I talk to myself. Yeah. I think in Denmark I was like, you are going to make this putt, you are going to make this putt. And you well, you did. It, you know? You, you did. OK, you're one up, Matt. Let's talk about your caddy and, and having an experienced caddy like Dave McNeely before you hit this tee shot. Like, yeah. What has he what has he taught you if he's taught you anything? And on a whole like this, what would he say to you? No wind, like only if you ask or does he yeah. uh, pipe up? 
Well, 30 plus years on tour, he's been all around the world. He's caddied for some of the best players in the world. And then uh, being able to get that knowledge from him is priceless. Um, put down a lot of, uh, well, definitely two of the wins down to him. Maybe mm -hmm. I won the other one. Then Denmark, like, come down the stretch. But India, it was like a tough golf course. We'd never, neither of us had been there before. And I remember the 17th hole, I hit driver where nobody hit driver all, all week. I hit driver there. And I remember the commentator saying, why is he hitting driver? And we're all tied. Dave, just the knowledge that he comes and brings to it, he goes, right, that fairway to their fairway is 100 yards wide. You've got the carry there and you can't reach the bunker. Let's hit driver. Gives, instills that confidence in you. And not only that, is he, he's a psychologist as well on the yeah. golf course and um, chills you out at the right time, talks to you at the right time, gets everything ready. He's a true professional and he's still learning himself, he says. Yeah. So I want someone like that who's willing to learn and willing to learn the way I play. And there's definitely a, a, a reason why We've, we've had success in this, down to him as well. A very kind thing to say that he's putting two of the wins this year down to his caddy. Very <laughs> kind. I should say three, really, shouldn't I? No. <laughs> you shouldn't say you shouldn't say any. <laughs> right, down the left here, radar. Yeah, with the Virginia. A little bit of juice on it. Oh, you pulled My the elbow click then. I think it's gonna be alright. I think mean, that should be fine. Yeah, it opens up. Let me borrow your tea there, mate. Yeah. All right. Whoa. You got the G400? Yeah. Beaut, huh? That too. Yeah. Isn't it? That should be fine. Will it? Yeah. I'll be fine there. 180 straighty. Nice try. Yeah. <laughs> well, we've got a flag over there on the right hand side. Choke down on one. Well, that felt pretty good. Pushed it a little bit. All right. All right. Front and right. Yeah. Mate, before you hit, yes. going into the van, you know, back in the day they used to have a tent, um, but now you've got these big vans, Pink have got this ultra-modern van, and yeah. Dom, who runs the whole show, goes on there, fixes all your stuff. Yeah. How good is it to be able to go in there and get anything you like, even just sit down, have a whinge and have a coffee, do you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? That's, it's priceless really, you, especially last week, um, Lynx Golf. There's there's certain things you want to happen to the ball flight, isn't there? And you can go in there and speak to the technician, speak to Dom, and just say, listen, I, I want my ball flight to come down and touch or something like that. And they'll talk to you about what they can do and how to go about it. And if you like it, that's great. And they get it, it happens straight away. And there's no shame in going in and saying, listen, oh, I just don't like that. Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely, it happens. Yeah. And but they'll say they'll give you options to to give you something else and change. And to also to go on there and, and have a coffee and chill out. Yeah. And, I mean, you get your hats for the week and you yeah. get all that and you feel good, yeah. you know, you it feels nice. And you get your name on the back of your hat and all that. Yeah, it's great. name on the back of the hat and then sign them at the end of the week and give them yeah, away. Give them away. And get some new ones the next week. All right, right. It's a wedge, mate. Let's show you. 97 yards. Let's show you what we got. You like it to fall right with your wedges, don't you? Yeah. There's a little slope there as well that you can grab. Yeah, but you up. like, I like that. I like a, 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 I don't like a drawn wedge yeah. shot. I like them giving yeah, it yeah, that yeah. with the right-handed player falling yeah. softly. Well, yeah. that's, that's a safe play, you know. You can see is. the green. Well, that's the worst shot you're going to hit to yeah, 18 feet. Exactly. You can, you can see the green. You can aim it at the fat part of the green. And if it drifts down yeah. towards the flag, you're always going to be putting. Rather than aiming at it, if you hit one like that and I hit the same sort of shot yeah. aiming straight straight at it, I'll miss the green right. Perfect. Oh a bit weak there. Self the up here, Not my best. Okay, nice shot. Where are we gonna read this for you? I don't know what, it's, 
Tesla got the fast one down the hill again. Definitely going to be outside the right. What do you think there? You see it going that way, do you? Right to left. You're left to right, obviously, because yeah. it's the opposite side. <laughs> Happy with that? Yeah. Oh, a good part. I'll give you that one. Ooh. Thank you. Very generous. Very generous. Oh, man. Let's try. Come on, roll that one in. There you go. Matt, it's always nice to take along um, family and friends, but your, your girlfriend, Chelsea, uh, a great name for a, for a, for a lady or, or a football team. <laughs> um, but um, how often does she go along with you? Yeah, she comes out. Um, she's coming out more often now. She's uh, just in between jobs, so uh, she wants to be able to travel as well as work, um, which is important for, for not only myself, where I can feel like she's going to be there and we can go and do stuff that's not golf-related, yeah. take your mind off the golf course and... Uh, mm. It's important to have, to have people like that around you, you know. And the ladies, you know, they a lot of them like their own identity. It's very course, important. It's yeah, very important. Very important, yeah. So, uh, yeah, you say travel, and do you like similar things like food? And oh, yeah, massively. We, we love our food. We love our wine. Um, we love... I, I basically spend all my money on food and wine. That's it. Dear, you must uh, have a lot. Of, you must, <laughs> you're not that fat. You, you've got a lot of money. I mean, you, you, you might, you know, food and wine. I mean, so do I. <laughs> well, I'm fat. <laughs> Matt, I've got the G400 Max, which is the newest of the family. Yours is the same family. So tell us all about your driver and why you play with that ping driver. Well, this, this is the LST, the low, low, lowest spinning technology right. um, head. Uh, and this is actually a new shaft as of Denmark week. I put right. it in that week, um, the new Rogue. And I mean, this driver is amazing. Forgiving, really long, mm. and the ball spins perfect. As you can see, it's really long with yours. As what do you, yeah, <laughs> yeah. What, what, <laughs> enough. What, um, how's your distance uh, driving this year? Where, where, where are you long, I've, I've upped it up a bit. Obviously, I've been going to gym as well. Yeah. Um, that helps, but with the driver, the consistency with the driver, I think I've upped it about 10 yards this year. Wow. Which, I mean, 10 yards is, is long when you're going it's from... When you're going to I think up. I went from 295 to 305 average this year. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, over 300 is good. Yeah. Especially when you've got DJ and these guys only out there at 312 yeah. or something. We've only got, we've got another 10 yards to try and find somehow. Good swing. I'm borrowing your two again. That's better. Yep. Oh, smoked it. Lovely drive. <laughs> Matt, uh, very important to have time out. Yeah. Tell us about the time out, the weeks you have off, the gym work you do, your home life. What do you like to watch on television? If you can remember all those questions, you're an absolute genius. How uh, much time in the gym? How much time in the gym? Uh, nowadays, I think you see with the likes of Fritz Kepka, Rory, the guys at the top of the sport, they're all gym goers and they know what it takes to be at the top and you need to be able to hit it a long way. You need to get it out of the thick rough. US Open style courses where you got to get out of thick rough. It's important, and not only is lifestyle, your, your, your mental health, like to feel fit and feel ready, and with the travel that we do as well, you need to be fresh and ready to go each tournament. Um, I love watching sport on TV, I love doing that. Quiz shows as well, yeah. I like to stay up on top of that, just keep the, the mind, mind going. going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was on Question of Sport the other day, I really enjoyed that. Oh, so good. I a bit of both. 
Um, yeah, and chilling out with my friends when I'm at home, it's difficult, we don't, we're not at home that much, so uh, whenever I get a chance to see them, so like this week we're, uh, we're back at home here and I get to go and see my friends, so looking forward to that. Let's uh, roll this one in on you then. Up the hill, a bit left to right. My helicopter's come to pick me up. Beautiful part. I don't have to part. <laughs> same old, same old. Same old, same old. <laughs> well, I promised you good people a bit more chat about the Ryder Cup. A lot of people would have been disappointed that he didn't get in. I was disappointed. I thought he was a shoe in to make the Ryder Cup with the way he achieved his last win at the Maid of Denmark. How disappointed, honestly, how disappointed were you? Very disappointed. Um, but I, I've said it all along and it is gospel truth that I accept and I, I Basically, I admire Thomas's picks now, yep. knowing what he what he went for, yep. and you have to give Thomas credit and all the players credit. I think they got nine points. The picks got nine points, um, which is incredible for for picks. So I think it's a record in in, in Ryder Cup. Thomas is a great guy. I've, I've I've got had a lot of time with Thomas. He helped me out with my wedge play in Cran last year. Um, ultimately, it was my goal. It's my dream to make the Ryder Cup, but. I think there's something in the stars written that uh, this time wasn't the time. Yeah, okay, that's well said. You know, Thomas would have felt bad. I know Thomas very well, known him for a, long, a lot of years, but he had to do what he thought was right. Yeah. And obviously it did work. Okay, yeah. wins. Yeah. Portuguese, India, Germany, you won the BMW International, yeah. and you've just won the Maiden Debut. A lot, of, a lot has happened to you in a fast, fast yeah. period of time. Yeah, really fast. Which tournament, or did they all mean the same, which one meant to you the most or maybe the Alps tour with six wins yeah. in a season or... yeah yeah I think it, it starts all of them are massive all of them you can put down to them being uh, the best or the, the biggest one I think the start Portugal to get an invite into that event wasn't I didn't get on it on, on merit because of my ranking but then to get an invite and then win it and then two weeks later I'm playing at Wentworth yeah incredible starts starts it off but I think India, in a playoff, the way I did it, was uh, it kind of reaffirmed to myself that I deserve to be on the tour. It's like, OK, the first one wasn't a fluke. You deserve to do it. And to do it against Beef, the way that we did it was, was pretty special. Germany was a different one. It was straight off the, a missed cut at the US Open. Come back and played amazing from behind to win. So I've won a different way than I've, than I've done before. That was incredible. But Denmark, I'd probably say that's my best ever win. Um, I wasn't the best player there that week, I don't believe, but I wanted it more than anybody else because of what was on the line for me. Um, I dug to levels that I've never been to before. And uh, those are the levels that I know that I can get to when, it, when, when I need to, uh, to pull it out of the bag. There you have it. There you have it. Very, very good. Straight down there towards that You've played that unbelievably there. well today. You've got me on the ropes. You're three up. All right. Show you a nice I'm having it a bad shot. <laughs> Good swing. Good swing, mate. That works. I tell you what, yep. I, like, I do like. I do like the way you've, with that driver, you can, a lot many guys these days, with the trampoline effect of drivers can turn it right to left. Yeah, You've yeah. Got, yeah. We've got the right to left, and my main shot is the left to right, so maybe that's just yeah, this morning. But it's nice to be just, able to. Just the, this morning's swing. And I've got. Oh, that's, that's good. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, that's it's not good. bad. It's not bad. That's down the. See, if I played the, the seniors track. tour, I'd have them all. Yeah. But I work for Sky Sports. <laughs> 151. 151. Am I getting eight iron there? I suppose I'm getting eight iron. Wind's there. out the left. Nice little draw shot, mate. Yeah. It's going to release out for sure. Oh, that's. Oh, that's a peach. 
Oh. Can't release. It will. Look at this. Oh, you, you, you ten want feet. this now, Tell you what, you? that's just meant. That would you... bring memories. Mem. <laughs> There's still time, Rita. Right There's still time. Memories. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the fit, the lob wedge. Mr. Lobba Lobba. There's room inside that of yours. There is, of course there is. Think it's it's about, 16 right. feet. Non's the last year, Matt, a chip in of, uh, when you're going head to head with uh, Tyrrell. How much do you trust your equipment when you go to a shot like that? Oh, uh, it's, it's important, isn't it? I mean, uh, I think we take it for granted sometimes. You, you Using the equipment nowadays is it's so consistent and so often that you get this, the result that you want that we take it for granted, yeah. you know? But that's what Ping get to do. Um, that's why they're the top brand that they are, and um, I was over the back there knowing that I had to chip and run it up the, up the green. Uh, landed it absolutely perfect in my second bounce. Yes, it might have skipped forward and gone in at pace, but I spoke to Dave about it, and we said, right, we first bounce there, second bounce on top, and then let it, we roll down. It's the only shot I had, couldn't do anything else off the hard pan. Uh, I blamed him for being long anyway, but chipping it in at that point, it's, it was, it was Emphatic, it was amazing. It's one of the best moments I've had on tour. How do you get such a big ticker? Oh, I feel a little bit of pulse in there. Uh, yeah, I, I love it. I just love being under the cosh. You like it? I love it. it. I love that. Well, that is great. That is that is yeah, because yeah. It, 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 it tells you that you're doing something right, mm. is it not so. I mean, you've got this part here and you have to make it. Yeah. So, what's going on in your team? Oh, back, right in the, now? back in the day, fine. Yeah. I loved it too. Yeah. I got nervous, but that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, Everyone does, but yeah. you also have to use those nerves and go, right, I'm nervous. Why am I nervous? Oh, I've got a chance to hold a putt yeah. to win or get in a playoff. It's good things. Yes. If it's for a cut, you still use it as motivation, right, I need to make this and then we can go tomorrow at the weekend. To be honest with you, I miss what you. Yeah. Tough cookies yeah, feel. Yeah. I miss it. Yeah. I really do miss it because it's not with you forever. It, well, it might be with you forever, but I've sort of do other things now. But is it me? Yeah, it's on you. You got it? Yep. Come on then. You need this one. Oh, not quite. Oh. We could try. Just slid across it, wiped it a little bit. It's, uh... Greens are running pure. Just outside left? Just outside left there. Oh, just a beautiful putt, just a beautiful thing, just straight in the middle. That's how, that's how, you know, once upon a time I wouldn't have liked to lose, to, to, to have lost, but that, that's how I like to lose, someone holding a putt, be a par. Very well played, very nice chatting to you, but traditionally we don't stop like this. You don't think it, it's not, you think it's all over, it right. is not. Oh, right. We go and have a nearest pin now. Oh, no. And, and the nearest the pin, and the, and the guy who loses has to, um, Buy the sherbet lemons on the, uh, on the, and I might even buy your bacon sandwich Sorry. as well oh, on, right. on the patio. Okay. Lovely. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do that. <laughs> G'day, people. Uh, we're here on the 18th of Moore Park. Uh, <laughs> we have 141 yards. I've got a ping wedge, and Radar's got his ping nine iron. Yeah. Is that right? It okay. wasn't bad that for okay. an Australian <laughs> sort of South African sort of accent, was it? <laughs> Come on, son. This is the nearest the pen. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh that, that is, that's mint, isn't it? Don't go in the hole. Go on. Oh, oh <laughs> I tell you what, that is beautiful. Here we go. I don't know if I'm getting as close as your one there, but. Okay. Oh, I'll tell you what. Fight. <gasps> oh. Yeah, that's a little long. Mate, that's well done, that's mate. Proper. Very, very good. Thank you. Lemonade, lime and. Angostura bitters for me, Matt. 
Matt, before I went out into the balcony to present you with your cappuccino, um, I walked through the clubhouse and I stumbled upon someone's trophies. Yeah, there's uh, a combination here of um, a few Alps Tour trophies. Uh, obviously, my first win in Portugal and then the India trophy. I've got a couple more coming. Um, but this is where we keep them off at Moor Park on the mantelpiece for everyone to to see them. Moor Park have been a great help for me to, to be able to win these and uh, it's just a nice memento to, to give back and people can come in and, and have a look at them. A very, a very nice touch. They're just missing something. <laughs> just something. There just we go. There, there. Yeah. That looks good. That, thank you. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Matt, did you enjoy yourself? Yeah, it was great fun beating you. Well, thanks very much. <laughs> thanks very much. Well, it was a great coming here to Moor Park and uh, meeting Matt Wallace, a star ping player. Um, how about I say to you, I'll see you at Whistling Straits. That is, that, nice. is that a deal? That sounds nice. And we don't know who's next, but you will find out in a round with Radar. <laughs>